You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Public Affair. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give you guys a shout out for all the love and support that you guys continue to show me. Um, As of the recording of this episode, we had the Waco Awards, I believe it was a week ago. I don't know, I was pretty fucked up. But I won Podcast of the Year for the second year in a row, and I'm so grateful to everybody that took the time to go out and vote for me. You guys truly mean the world to me. And it really made my night. Big shout out to Juliana Resendez, who actually presented me with the award. That meant a lot, too, because I love that woman. I don't know what else happened that night. All I know is I was a junk slutty mess. But anyway, moving on. (laughs) Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to thank Allison, Mike, Corey, Rogue Media, everybody who's involved with this. Thank you guys so much for all you do behind the scenes. Truly appreciate it. I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by David Santabanez with Alinea Real Estate. He's the number one sales agent in his office, darling. Help you buy a home or sell your property. Follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea or call the number on the screen for your real estate needs. My boy David is out there doing things i can't wait to go look for my dream chateau with him everything was such an easy process with him and it, i told him i need the house with the side piece door in the back there you all go. right yes yeah, so david's got me david santabanez thank you so much for all you do for me in the public affair bro oh of course to i call her the cajun queen anika armstrong with peewee's crab cakes of texas oh delicious serving the most authentic cajun cuisine with a wide selection of signature crab cakes pasta seafood and more my favorite absolute favorite is the crabby seafood pasta substitute the penne pasta with veg- Fettuccine pasta. Thank me later. You'll be sliding in DMs. Located at 108 Gym Drive in Hewitt. Or order online at order peewees crabcakes of Texas.com. To my girl, Anika Armstrong. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the Public Affair. Oh, catch her on DoorDash as well. She'll get DoorDash right to your house. I love it. Love it. Love it. Of course, the Nancy Pulsini with Parkway National Insurance. She provides insurance for all commercial trucks and tractor trailers and also for all contractors along with home and auto insurance. Call the number on the screen for all insurance inquiries. Habla español, inglés, los dos. Nancy Pulsini. Thank you so much. All my contractor friends got to hit her up, all right? Get your jobs insured so that way these people can stop talking shit in my inbox. Nancy Pozzini, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Arturo's frame with Arturo and Eva de la Cruz. They do wood framing for houses and all remodeling. They'll even assist you with building a brand new home, chateau, whatever you want. Habla ingles, espanol. Call the number on the screen for a free in-town consultation or follow on Facebook at Arturo's frame. Arturo, Eva, thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Elite Barbershop with my boy Sid Rodriguez, located on Hewitt Drive. You can call the number on the screen to book or download the Squire app, and walk-ins are welcome as well. You got all the snacks over there working, making you look super snackish. Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Clint Fletcher, and Isai. Thank you guys so much, all Elite Barbers. Walk-ins are welcome as well. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And, of course, to Jimenez Bakery with Enrique Jimenez, a local bakery specializing in a wide selection of fresh and affordable pan says oh and the weather's getting cold it's perfect with some coffee on the side or some hot tea uh, love it also the best tres leches cake you'll ever let melt down your throat the mocha tres leches is absolutely for me i'm a whore for it you can also get a cup a fresh elote for a different type of craving darling <laughs> locations at 1915 dutton in waco and 302 west elm street in hillsboro to my boy enrique thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair i truly truly appreciate it all right, guys. So like I said, I, I, I get, hey, it was so, a lot. I like it. It's, it. I like it's it. a little bit of a lot. You know, I like it. I'm like a machine gun, though. I don't stop. I'm well, like the I, I, one, one more hand to those sponsors. Oh, yes, absolutely. Because with them, I'm nothing. All right. Correct, they correct. help tremendously. All of them. I, it means the world to me. So as you guys can hear by my voice, I've got a BBC in the room. And I, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's his name on social media. And so I was a little bit scared. And he wore the gray sweatpants, too. So I, I knew that I was supposed to wear these slutty shorts. As of the recording of this episode, it's only 30 degrees outside. And, you know, we don't know how to act when it's 30 degrees outside. Yeah, He's a self-made millionaire, a photographer, content creator, um, rapper, BBC holder, and more. I'm so excited to welcome Warren McCamey, a.k.a. ATM Man Man here hey, on thank you for having The Public me. Thank Affair. You for having me. How you 
doing? Hey, how are you doing? Thank you for having well, me. Well, I, I don't know if I should be nervous or if I should be excited. You know, or... I'm the one nervous right are now. Are you really? No, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm yeah. never nervous. And plus, we have this liquid courage, you know? We do have this liquid courage. So, whatever happens after this episode, you, that's hold, for the extra hold, can, can we shout out the. Yes, yes, get the wine bottle. Okay, this is called Decoy. Decoy. Uh, what is that? A sovereign? What is that? Let me see. Yes, a Cabernet, darling. And you know who got me that bottle of um, decoy was my OnlyFans model that I just had on the show. Shout out to Caesar Abraham. And so I knew I was saving this for a special occasion. Okay. Yeah. Now, Warren, I've never had the BBC before, so I'm a little bit scared. Okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going right. to lie. They told right. me once I go black, I never go back. So I've been it scared. It is so true. Seen. It is so true. Is it true? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Most but certainly. is it also true what they say? The, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice? Most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> that juice okay. is so sweet. <laughs> the, oh, my goodness. Well, I'm pretty tasty myself, all uh -huh, right? I uh -huh. have to say, I get compliments all the time. But, you know, when I saw BBC in the name on social media, I uh -huh. was like, Does that, is that like his initials or, the, or we, is that what we're doing here? Because you wore the gray sweat. I know you wore the gray sweatpants on purpose. I know you did. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Trying okay to get me did. some followers, it's you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I have some of your followers? Listen, I love my 2,000 followers. Excuse me, my 4,000 followers. <laughs> but when I went on your social media and saw um, Dan something thousand, hundred thousand something, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Here we go. No, listen. I'm really grateful that you're here on the show. We met um, last week, actually. We did. We probably met beforehand, but I don't remember. You, you know what's funny, man? What, tell me, please. I haven't known you for two weeks, but I feel like I've known you forever. <laughs> well, yeah. Because your energy is so welcoming. Thank you. you know? I, I, and thank you for saying that. You know, what you see is what you get. That <laughs> slutty, drunk mess that was at the Waco Awards. <laughs> that, that is me all day, and they know. What's up? <laughs> when you walked in, man, uh -huh. you were already sloppy. You were pre-gaming, right? I, you were yeah, pre-gaming. Absolutely. That's you were an lit. understatement. You yeah. come in here. Well, I don't know if I'm going to win. What happens if I don't win? <laughs> and everybody just loved you. They're like, who is this guy? But yeah. everybody loved you. But they knew who yeah. I was at the end of the night, right? Yeah, yeah, when yeah, I went yeah, out there and made yeah, that drunk did. acceptance speech. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was. Bro, so was so were you shocked when you won? Absolutely. 100%. Ask anybody, bro. I did not think I was going to win. because, I, And I'll say, and I've been very open about this real quick, and then I, I really want to make this episode about you. Okay. The, the basis of the Waco Awards is to ask your peers to vote for you. Correct. Which in hindsight, uh, with no disrespect, mm -hmm. you you don't have to do anything all year and then you could still win depending Correct. if you know Correct. enough people to vote for you. Correct. So I, last year, I didn't ask anybody to vote for me. I wanted to do the same thing this year. Correct. And you know, everybody still nominated me. Everybody still voted for me, which means people are fucking with the public affair. Correct. So I think that's why when I won, I got so emotional because Correct. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm winning this justly, number one. Correct. And, and number two, people really are like, no, he deserves this because Correct. he He's been consistent because he's this and that. And so it means a lot to me. Correct. It correct. really does mean a lot to me. So mm -hmm. I absolutely was shocked. That's part of the reason why I got drunk beforehand, too. <laughs> because I was like, if I, if I lose, you know yeah, what I mean? Then yeah. oh, what the fuck difference does it make? Correct, <laughs> correct, I'll correct. still be lit, right? Uh -huh. No, but yeah, you were the photographer there that night. Correct. Do they reach out? Listen, you seem like you're busy and all over the place. Do they just I, reach I out? Am, Do you I just am. have connections? Uh, and... I, I'm very connected in the yeah. uh, Texas area. Honestly, man, me and A. Ray, we go back <laughs> Maybe two decades, oh, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, uh, as he was planning the event and everything, mm. he says, hey, I have a question. <laughs> Hey, Ray, whatever you need, I got you, man. That's so, so that's it. You know, uh, that's so great that you still are able to do. You know, some people they get, um, they don't, they get in their own way, correct? And they become as big icons as you guys. Well, do well you know what? I, you know? What I think I've uh -huh. always been taught, man. Pride comes before your downfall. You have to mm. remain humble. I, absolutely. You know, I agree with you, you're only where you're at because of the people that support you. Yes. If you shit on them. And God can take all that away. That, that's so, so I true. try to remain humble as possible. That's so true. You know, I was having a conversation with that with somebody yesterday about that, actually. Uh -huh. And they wanted to, like, you know, they, they had found out some people were actually hating on the public affair. Oh. And I never pay attention to that. Correct. And they were going to make a live in defense of me. And I said, I really don't want you to do that. Correct. Because then it's just shedding light to those people that are, quote, unquote, hating. So when I do get nominated for accolades and this and that, mm -hmm. I'm not going to go, oh, shout out to the haters. I'm like, <laughs> shout, fuck you guys. Like, I'm going to just shout out to all yeah, the, yeah. I call them my I call, I call my fan base the side pieces. They don't know that, <laughs> but they know it now. <laughs> well, well there's two things that's good about that, man. Yeah. They say if they're not hating, you're not doing something right. right. And then they say even bad pub is good pub. Well, you know, that uh, means somebody's talking about yes, you, you know? Absolutely. And you know what, man? At the end of the day, like, I'm just not really focused on that. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I just really stay focused on this show. Like, Correct. while I had won the award, uh -huh. I still had a recording two days later. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I still had an episode yeah, coming yeah, yeah, out yeah, in yeah. five hours. So Correct. I got home at one in the morning. It was like, God damn it. I got to set the alarm for five. You the know, work don't stop. The right? work doesn't <laughs> stop. You know what I mean? So anyway, listen, enough uh -huh. about me. I'm so happy that you're here. Can we Thank get you. to know a little bit about you, Warren? Um, we're, we're 
where are you from? Life growing up for you and stuff like that, please. Okay, man, we can get as deep as you want to, yes. and we can just barely skim I, on it. Well, I don't know how deep I'm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Okay. Where am I from? I'm originally from Waco, Texas. I'm a Hillcrest baby. Mm. Um, man, I went through all the all the schools here, man. I'll tell you what, I was mm. a troubled child when I was growing up. Really? You know, so I was in and out of alternative schools, mm. man. South Waco Elementary, mm-hmm. Sivas Chavez. Uh, middle school, you know, Lake Air Middle School. I mm-hmm. then went to Conley. Uh, after graduating from Conley, I took a scholarship offer. I ran track. Yeah. Uh, I went to Kansas. After Kansas, you know, they had one of their worst snowstorms in history. For sure, Me and for my sure. friend Jake, we were roommates. I'm like, fuck this shit, man. We got to get back <laughs> home. We're not used to snow. Yes. Uh, then after staying here about a year, when we got back, I'm like, man, this isn't it for me. Okay. I was hanging with the wrong crowd. I said, right. fuck it. I'm going to go to the Air Force. Oh. Uh, from the Air Force, I moved to New Jersey. Mm-hmm. After getting out, you said, I said, man, let's move back to Texas. You know, Houston's the biggest city in Texas. Jobs will be plentiful. Mm-hmm. I moved it to, uh, to Houston. Little did I know that traffic is a bitch, right? Okay, yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody want to move to the big city, and so it's time to fucking yeah. drive here when tolls and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So from there, I moved to Dallas, uh-huh. and I've been there ever since. Okay. But um, still have family in Waco and a lot of clientele right. here, so I'm always back and forth. Right. Uh, a little bit about my, my upbringing, man. We come Please. from very, very humble beginnings. I can tell. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. It was like three generations living with my grandma, man, in South oh, Waco. Wow. Man, it's my mom, mm-hmm. two of her sisters, my uncle, you yeah. know, and all the kids. You know, we didn't know we didn't have much money because mm-hmm. it was a lot of love. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, you know, we would eat syrup sandwiches, man. I've never <laughs> heard of syrup sandwiches yeah. until I moved to fucking Texas. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, what is syrup but, sandwiches? But to, to <laughs> us, man, it was like yeah. this is a delicacy. This is good. Well, I want to try good. it because it does kind of sound good. I'll tell you what, yeah. I tried it since I got older. That shit it's is not trash. Like, now. No, but, uh, but, but when I go to your mansion, can yeah. I eat a syrup sandwich in your airplane hanger, please? You can eat whatever you want to eat. <laughs> okay. But you know what, my, my kids are different. They didn't really come from humble again, and so like. Oh, I try to give them like the Vienna sausages. Dad, these stink. Oh, you know? uh, listen, so, <laughs> you shut your eyes up and eat. Okay. <laughs> so 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 it, it's funny, man. Like yeah. we would like pick pecans, man. Take them mm. to Chapman's for 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 money, you know. Okay. So we we come from very humble beginnings. Right. That's why I still now, man. I've done very well for myself. Yes. But I can't forget my roots. You know, I hate mm. it when people are laughing at people, man. Look at him, dusty shoes. Look at this. That could be you in a second. God oh, could take everything away. Okay. Yes. You know, so I'm like. They don't realize how hard we work. I mean, I'm not a millionaire and I don't have an airplane hanger, but they you, think that. Next because, year, you got it. 2023, we'll, you got we'll see, it. Okay. Well, as long as my, my daddy buys it for me. <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is, like, I think people look at, like, well, somebody like you who's, uh-huh. who's made a prominent name for himself, or even somebody like me who is coming up with the podcast, mm-hmm. they think that we've always just had it together. No, and no, that, no. Like, same. Like, we did not have no fucking money or nothing. So Fuck no. You know, yeah. 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 I'll tell you what, like the people that don't know me, that didn't grow with me, yes. they probably think, well, because I, I talk proper, you know. Uh, I, I, yeah. talk, I, talk, I heard your business call outside. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's real proper, but yeah. man, I, I really come from, you know, that's what I'm, I'm yeah, around. Yeah. So uh, people who don't know me are like, man, he talks like a white boy. Mm. And I hate when they say that because oh, okay. you can be an educated black male mm-hmm. and, te- and speak with intelligence and you don't have to disassociate with your race. Oh, I see. Okay. You know, so when you talk with intelligence, they always say, oh, he's trying to be white. He's, he's trying, trying to be, white, be this. Okay. Well, no, and you're just educated. Just just very educated, yeah, man. Sure. Five I'm, degrees, I'm, five degrees. Yeah, I have five degrees. Oop, oop. Like the thing is, man, I, I probably know more street smart, uh, stuff than the mm. hardest dude out there that doesn't speak with intellect. For sure. But this is how I carry myself, yeah, yeah. you know. So they're like, man, he, he's come from a silver spoon. I'll tell you what, man. I moved out from my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. I was like 14 years old. Oh, really? Yeah. Where the hell did you go at 14? Well, I started living with friends. Oh, okay. You know, so so throughout around. high school, mm-hmm. I was living with friends. Shout out to TJ and Jake, their mm-hmm. parents. I still see their moms. It's like nobody can replace my mother. Mm. I'm, I take care of my mom now. For sure, for sure. Uh, but they played a prominent part of my life as yeah. well. Uh, so yeah, but before even high school, I'm not even staying with my parents anymore. Mm-hmm. But, you know, some people don't know that. Like, oh, he had it made. Right, right. No, no shit. I know the value of the dollar. I had to lie on my first job application to get a job. <laughs> I'm like fucking 13, 14 working at uh, right. Riverbend Ballpark because uh, okay. I lied on my Did application. You, told them you were 17. <laughs> yeah, I, I told them I was a little older. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Because I wanted to make money. You know, what, what, uh, why did you leave? I mean, wh- well, you I'll said tell you, you were troubled and stuff yeah. Like well, that. I'll, t- I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, in hindsight, is now 2020. And now I'm raising my kids, so I understand. Right. You know, my dad was like, well, if you don't want to follow my rules, you can get out. Uh, yes. You know, at this point in time, I was already making a little money. You know, I had okay. bought all my school stuff. So I'm like, 
I don't need you. Oh, yeah. I'll leave. I, I, got I can a make this a $200 check, bitch. Like, <laughs> I got yes, this. Yes, yeah, I can get them on the top of the world, but we I'm like, real shit. Yeah. And that shit wasn't anything, you okay. know? So I'm like, uh, you know, I'll just leave. Okay. You know? And I'll be honest, if it weren't, wasn't for my friends during high school, mm-hmm. if it wasn't for their mothers, I would have been asked out. You oh, know, wow, $200 yeah. can't do shit for you. You no, know, let's no, be no, honest, sure, you know? For sure, yeah. Yeah, so like, I was already walking to school. Mm-hmm. Like, I did uh, dual credit courses, so I would walk to school, yeah. walk to TSCC, walk back to track practice, then walk home. Oh, I'm wow. like, I'm not getting picked up. I'm buying my stuff. <laughs> I felt like I was an adult. Okay. Uh, I thought I had everything figured out, but I, I really didn't. didn't but yeah, okay. that what made me. But I'll tell you what, it helped me grow up. Now I understand sure. the value of a dollar because I had to save. This thirty dollars may last me a month. Yeah, you definitely. know. Oh, so yeah. a, a lot of my friends tell me, man, they're like, man, uh, what do they say? I act like the dad on Everybody Hates Chris, you know, because I'm, <laughs> I'm real tight with the money. Like you have so much money, but you just don't yeah. blow it. But it's a reason for that. For sure. You know? uh, do Do you find it frustrating when people? really associate you with somebody who because they see you now and we see we see on social media although you're not flaunting it correct i, I noticed them let them windows are pretty long <laughs> <laughs> and my windows ain't that long yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. the tree doesn't even meet the ceiling uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so so do you think that a lot of people like does it aggravate you when people say who don't know your backstory say you know oh he just had everything handled it must be nice is what i'm saying well at, at times it does and sometimes mm. you feel like uh, let me prove. Let me, let me prove that. Hey, I didn't come from this. Mm-hmm. But now I understand. Let the haters talk. That's it. You know, let let them talk. The you know, be in my DMs. <laughs> that's it. That's trying, it. Trying to get in, in these DMs. Man, I, I, I've heard it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've heard it all, man. Yeah, it sure. used to be frustrating. You know, uh, when I was younger, it was like when they was like, man, this boy don't know shit about the streets. I almost felt yeah. like. Well, let me prove that I that I that I oh, am. Okay. And that's that's the that's a foolish way of thinking. Mm. You know, once you graduate from that, you don't go back to that. I see. You know, but uh at times it used to be Okay. But but now no, no, no. But a lot of people right. they, they tell me this, you know, it's motivation. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes. I saw when man, I used to live out of my car at one point in really, time. Really, really. A blue crown big. You know, <laughs> people people know this. <laughs> yeah. With the big ass twenties with the fat tires. My friends, my friends remember that. Were you at Kobe's? Was I where? Were you at Kobe's in South Waco? No. <laughs> with your blue no. Now it's Ali Drive-In? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Couching but, your but yeah, and, I had yeah. like two bins full of my clothes. Yes. You know, go to a friend's house to shower or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I know about being on rock bottom. For sure. And that's why, yeah. like, when people come with the sob stories and, man, can you give me a handout? Oh. No, because... I know what I had to do to bust my ass to get right. to where I'm at. Nobody gave you a handout. Correct, For correct. Sure, I feel so you. I know, mm-hmm. but but when I see people, they're wasting their time. They're not mm-hmm. being productive. I'm like, man, you wouldn't be in this predicament if you got off your ass and you did, and did this. something. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah, yeah. I agree with you 100. percent You know, somebody asked me. Well, it's so cute because, you know, I was on the radio for a long time. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so they called me and they said, you know, can you get me a job at La Lale? Mm-hmm. And I was telling them, I was like, well, no, because number one, I don't work there. Number two, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, like you, you're cute. Like you, he's like, I really want to be like on camera and stuff like that. I was Correct. like, you should go take up some acting classes and stuff like that. He's like, well, can you get me an acting gig? I was like, so you're missing the point of the conversation. Correct. Correct. I Correct. can't get you shit. Correct. No matter Correct. what my status is, Correct. I can't get you anything. Yeah, yeah. You have to go get it yourself. I, I hear that sometimes yeah. as well. It's like, man, bro, put me on. I the thing that. is, I can't Ooh. put you on. Yeah. Even if I got you this job, right? Your work ethic. Uh, your criteria, mm-hmm. I mean, your work history, everything has to qualify you for that position, you right. know? I can recommend you. Right. However, if you don't meet the prerequisites and all that, I can't do anything what you for, you. Do for you. That's why okay. why while you're sitting while you yeah. have all this free time, man, work on bettering yourself. For get sure. the education, get the training, yes. network, you know. That way when the right. opportunity comes to your door, you're ready to take it. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. Now, you know what, Warren? Mm-hmm. Some of my viewers are probably like, okay, well, what does this guy do, Andrew? Because you keep saying he's a millionaire. You keep <laughs> saying he's got the airplane in his hangar, which, which, by the way, if you haven't had sex in your airplane hangar yet, I'll be the first one to do so, please. <laughs> All right? I will have airplane hangar sex in your airplane <laughs> hangar. I will. I don't care. I'll bring one of my construction worker side pieces, if you don't mind. Hey, hey, do what you, do what you have to do. turn your cameras off now, unless you <laughs> want to see a show. You might learn a thing or two. I, I'm going to put it on Pornhub. I'm going to profit yeah, okay. off of it, you know? Right, well, just make sure I get at least 10%. There okay? you go. There you go. <laughs> no, but so, so mm-hmm. Warren, well, before I ask you what mm-hmm. you do, mm-hmm. what did you do that kind of 
kickstarted your life um, because um, you know when I was when I was intro to you obviously we met at the awards and correct, I, I correct. knew you as the photographer okay? correct, but correct. somebody was like you don't know who that is <laughs> and I was like no yeah. who is that you know, I, met, I met Supreme Dreams and I, I think he's great you know? yeah, 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 he's yeah. so funny I, yeah, he's I dope. love he's him very dope. Mm-hmm. but you know they were like you don't know ATM man man and I was like <laughs> no and he was giving me the whole fucking lowdown so what was it that kick started everything for you um, I think what kick started everything mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be honest yeah uh, I think going to the Air Force is mm-hmm. what matured me. Mm. You know, when I went in there, I thought I knew everything. Right. But, you know, in there, it's a chain of command. Right. So even if I think I'm big, bad, I know all this, I have to listen to that master sergeant. I have to mm. listen to that tech sergeant or I'm getting the LOR. You okay. know what I mean? So I think that really helped me because it, it moved me away from everybody I know. I'm going to places I've never seen. Right. So I have to mature very quickly. You know, I'm going over, you know, Afghanistan and all these things. I have to mature. Right. So once I I matured as an individual, I no longer thought as a guy who was just roaming the streets. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was then um, what kickstarted my my first lucrative, I guess, position. Mm -hmm. Uh, I took a management position with Geico. And just to give you a, um, you know, just so you know how competitive it is. They said less than 1% of the applicants get that position, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, so once I got that, uh, I started learning corporate America. Oh, I see. Uh, from there, man, I'm like, man, I'm making these people so much money. Why can't I do this for myself? For yourself. Okay. You know? But but I'll tell you what, e- even through my time in uh, the Air Force, I was I, that's when I started getting my degrees and yeah, everything. Because yeah. if the military is going to pay for it, I'm going to take advantage of it. Okay. You know? So then I'm with, I'm with Geico. From there, I'm offered a uh, better position with a company called uh, Empower. Yeah. Uh, and from Empower, I went to a company called CSI. But still, th- w- what I learned with all these corporate uh, mm. positions was, man, I'm doing all this work. For somebody. And I'm making them so much money. Yeah. So let me get into the world of uh, ownership myself. Yeah, yeah. So um, it, this just fell into my lap, man. There was a guy named uh, Omar was his name. Yeah. Middle Eastern guy. He owned all the Eagle Postals in uh, the mm. Dallas-Fort Worth area. So he had just landed a gig with Uber it was a two million dollar uh contract he would do all the signature or uber blacks the luxury vehicles yeah 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 so he's like man i don't want this anymore because i won't have the time for it so i'll tell you what i did i took a uh sba loan um and and this is something people should should look into with an sba loan Uh you only have to put down 10 percent of the entire purchase price of a business oh so if i want to buy a million dollar uh business i only have to put down a hundred grand Oh, okay. You know, so I bought his business. Uh-huh. Uh, and I stayed in it maybe two years. We were the largest shipper for DHL, yes. UPS in the Dallas Fort Worth area. I sell those and I make a big chunk of money. Oh, so that, that really kick started me. Yeah, yeah. And from now that I have more liquid um, assets, more liquid money, mm-hmm. I started investing in other things, you know, yeah. other small businesses. And I'll tell you what, I, I like to invest in businesses that have tenure, because I can look back on their financial history. Let me see what your business did for the last three years. If it shows that that business has been growing, Mm -hmm. it may be a safe investment. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, with startups, I stay away from, because I say like 75% of startups fail in the first three years. Well, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so Mm -hmm. that's what I do. I invest into the small businesses. I also day trade, man. Like, you, you can make, like, three grand in the matter. And I showed them a video. Like, yeah. I made three grand in, like, three minutes. What you is know? day trading? I know Daily, what trades in the day are. Uh, it, it's but, stock trading. It's, oh. it's trading stocks. Oh, okay, okay. And, and, again, this takes tons of research. You know, you have to, you know, what are these businesses doing? So, man, when, you're, when I'm on my phone, I'm usually just reading something. I'm reading something. Okay, okay. So I see if this business has just been bought out. They just landed a good government contract. The chances are that next day people are going to jump into those stocks. Yes. So what I'll do is the stock market opens up at 830. I'll probably put 20 grand in this mm-hmm. stock. And I'll tell you what, within the first like 20 minutes of the stock market opening, it gets very volatile. Oh, wow. But it always hits a peak. And you can set yourself a, uh, and I'm getting so deep in this, man, because I love, I love what this I do. Is, yeah, somebody's going to take something. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. I'm ready to ask the slutty questions. But uh, and we're going to get yeah, to yeah. that. <laughs> There's something that called, that's yeah. called a, a trailing stop loss. Yeah, go ahead. Which does this. I set mine for 10 cents, and this is what it does. It follows that stock price. So mm-hmm. as it goes up, it's trailing that thing by 10, 10 cents. So it helps me reduce my risk of loss. Wow. So if that thing turns around 10 cents, it's going to automatically sell. It, it, it preserves my profit yes, yes. with eliminating that risk. So that that's what I like to do. I like to jump in those, and that's really, really fast money. Mm. Like People think like selling drugs and doing all this street shit is fast well, money. It's not, no. That's really fast money. Okay. Like, 
it was this one thing, man. Like if, if I had just like invested twenty grand into it, I would have made like two million. You know, wow, so okay. it, it's little shit it's like little that, shit like bro. That. Like, like I never think but, about things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so many don't. people don't jump into it. Well, yeah, yeah. But man, it's very lucrative. I just don't feel like I have the knowledge, Warren. I just want to be somebody's sugar baby. <laughs> I just want some old man. You, man with those legs. You could be somebody's sugar baby. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, hello, I could be somebody's yeah. sugar baby, yeah. and then when they peace out, I can take all his money, and then I can go buy my own airplane. Like uh, what's her name? Anna, Anna Nicole. Anna Nicole. That's what she did, right? Yeah, she deserved every penny. Why you say that? Would you blow him and not get $20 million? I, I'm not a blower. I, I don't do I'm that. a blower. But and if it was an old lady there, I would eat listen, that coochie listen, for bro, $20 million. One, one blow job, $20 million. <laughs> Did you see that fucking guy? <laughs> Did you see that guy? <laughs> so she deserves it. Is what you're saying? Every fucking penny. Okay, okay. I blew a guy okay. that was in his 60s one time. And I, <laughs> and I was <laughs> what happened? What he happened? looked younger. He works out. And I was like, yeah. oh, hell no. Where's my $20 million? All right. Fuck that. She deserves Every penny. Let me let me ask you. So they yes. they, they have blue shoes. You have blue shoes on. Oh, what? Yeah. I, just, I don't know. All I know is that he works out. He he, he told me afterwards how old he was, and so I was you like, didn't, you didn't know he was six. I didn't know he was no six. He was on grinder. And I don't. I didn't ask. I was just like, what's up? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he was cute, and he yeah, worked yeah. out, and yeah, yeah. he was like, I am sixty five, and I was like, sixty five. Wow, bitch! Like I feel like I was molested. Like, what do you mean sixty five? Are you serious? Like, but they 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 look young these days. You gotta be careful. Well, everybody does. They do. Well, you know, you know? what it is. He probably hit you with a filter. No, the because well, it's the same filter when he came to the house. Because when he came to the house, bro, he looked it, young. He looked young. He would look like vibrant. You know what I mean? What I was the like, fuck? Uh, yeah, it's, and you well, know you, the you, piece was working. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it sure. is? People use retinol and uh, yeah. What what is the other thing they do uh, nowadays? Uh, uh, Vi not Viagra. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 they use that too. They use that yeah. too. Listen, I don't want but my dad so, to know it's that. It's so I... much fillers, you know. People look oh, so oh, young Botox. now. Botox. Botox fillers. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Stay tuned. But anyway, <laughs> stay tuned. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, Warren, we got to take a little break. Of uh -huh. course, I want to get more into to your successes, your your uh -huh. content creating, the the music, um, everything about you. I want to get okay. to the. the the self-made millionaire. I'm so intrigued. Uh, and you said that you're in a slutty period in your time in your I'm, life right I'm now. A, I'm in a very slutty yeah, period. Yeah, right and I'm, that's what I want to get into. But you guys are going to take a quick break. We're going to get some more decoy. <laughs> and we're going to learn more about Warren McKamey, a.k.a. ATM Man Man, which I have to know where that name came from and more. And we're going to see if he has sex in his airplane hangar as much as I hope he does. And the BBC might come out. <laughs> Stay tuned here on The Public Affair. <laughs> hey, guys, I hope you're enjoying this really, really great, fun, salacious, and slutty episode of The Public Affair with Mr. BBC. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by Waco Made Granite by my boy Jay Perez and his boy Henry Flores. My boy too. They offer amazing granite, quartz, countertops, backsplashes, and so much more. I know you got the million dollar chateau, but if you didn't ever need any of that stuff, super affordable, mm -hmm. super reliable, perfect. Hit them up. Please hit them up with the mm -hmm. number on the screen. Perfect for rentals, flipping homes, or if you just need something new and fresh, especially in that mansion. Also, if you mention this ad, mention this ad, uh -huh. you get the special public affair pricing for only $37 is, a square foot what? for level one material. Okay. Don't play with me, all right? <laughs> Call the number on the screen for a consultation. Follow on Facebook at Waco Made LLC. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Waco Made Granite, thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Julian and Ana Banda with Banda's Hauling Service. They run dump trailers. You fill it up, they haul it away. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and haul cars in and out of town. You need a tow, you hit up Banda's Hauling Service. They'll go to your location over there. He's not scared. He'll drive anywhere. He, he drove will. to Austin the other day. Oh, wow. Came back with the car from Austin, picked up my uh -huh. couch. It was amazing. I he'll, love it. He'll pick up and haul anything. Oh, he don't care. He'll, he's coming right to you. Super okay. affordable as well. Book now with the number on the screen, the Bandas Hauling Service. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to embrace fitness with the queens, they set Luna and Amanda Switzer. They teach group fitness classes that are fun and dynamic, darling, to specialize in total body workouts. But Excola and by Jackie and Zumba Step classes are Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. You can also contact them to rent the building out for parties and small events. They set Luna and Amanda Switzer. Their classes are super, super convenient. I want to hear no excuses. Don't give me none of that bullshit, all right? <laughs> Embrace Fitness. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Oh, my goodness. He said I get nervous when I said his name, and I kind of do. Gilbert Maldonado with Maldonado Construction. You can call him for all concrete work, such as foundations, driveways, patios, and sidewalks, retaining walls, and so much more. Follow him on Facebook at Maldonado Construction and Landscaping. Gilbert Maldonado does absolutely everything. He does it all. Hit him up with the number on the screen for a consultation to Maldonado Construction. Thank you guys so much. Or thank you, bro, so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And, of course, to Soko Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez, located at 3304 Franklin Avenue. They offer 
team small group and individual skills training. They also have elite skills training to make your kid a superb star athlete. They are being trained by absolute professionals. Open plays on Mondays and Wednesdays for ages 16 and older at 8.30. Morrow, he's a little silly buns. He be hosting that. He's, he's uh-huh. silly buns because he's short and ferocious. Uh-huh. All right, follow on Facebook <laughs> at Soko Soccer Academy on Instagram at Soko Soccer 254. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. All right, guys, my special guest is here. He's been waiting. He actually said he wants to jump right back into being slutty with me. I said, absolutely. You got the gray sweatpants and the BBC. Let's ATM do it. Man Man is here on The Public Affair. What were you just so anxious to just... I, just, I wanted yes. to talk about... Because uh-huh. did we start talking about that off air? Because uh, what, what I wanted to talk okay. about was you and this 65-year-old. <laughs> I will say this. Yeah. His piece was not 65. Okay, okay. His piece was okay, every bit okay. of 31 like I am. So his old ass <laughs> tore you up is what you're saying. Listen... Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't seen him since because that's usually what happens. He you know? hit it and quit it. Th- that's how they treat me now. And I've subjected myself Does to Does he just, know what you yes. won just a week ago? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't get into that. Only only very few times have I been on Grinder, and they come to the house and be like, so I know who you are. Wow. <laughs> they do. Only, that's, that's happened like a handful of times. And it's kind of scary. I'm not going <laughs> to. Is, is it really? Well, because I don't want them to expose me. I'm going to start making them sign NDAs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk about that. Well, you know what? You just asked me, am I in a slutty part of my life? You are too, it sounds like. Oh, I've been in a slutty part of my life for over 10 years. Okay. okay. So this is you. Yeah, these niggas ain't shit yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all they do is use us and, and take me for my money and i said you know what i've subjected myself to side piece yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm the fun uncle to my beautiful nephew yeah. and, and that's it so you're a pro- <laughs> prof- professional side piece as well. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I, and, and you know what? I'm a loyal side piece too, though. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these side pieces, they don't, they don't know how to do it now. They want to call their fucking the man now on social media and shit. I, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Keep that shit. Why is she call? Hello? Why is she calling my phone? I told you not to give her my number, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not picking up. Uh, she want to like, come to you as a woman. Yeah, n- no. I don't want. I, we you have, you don't want the drama. You don't, I don't want the have drama. Nothing to talk about to you. I don't okay, owe loyalty okay. to your relationship. That's between you and him. Do not yeah. come at me with that yeah. shit. No. So, so if they do, what, what would you do? Uh, hey, girl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what's, what, I, no, but you want to know what, what I would do? Deny it. Yeah. So you you've I never deny. been charged up ever in your no. life. No, because I don't get involved with all that. I really am a loyal side piece. It's I really am. No, but you I see, am. I'm the same way. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like, mm. since I've been out in these streets, man, I've learned these women are. Oh. Shady as hell. Oh, yeah, like yeah. they'll have a man uh-huh. and all this other shit. I'm like, man, that's between you and him. Yeah, okay. If he comes try to, you know what I'm saying, come to me as man. Don't. Hey man, I don't know nothing about why nothing. Why you coming to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why are you not over I'm, there punching I'm, that bitch in her face? I'm gonna keep it playing. <laughs> yeah. You don't even gotta punch her. I'm like, yeah. shit, I don't know shit about well, shit, bro. We teammates. That's <laughs> it. That, like, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. If anything. No. Let me tell you something. I've yeah. never been in a situation where anybody's asked me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like no, no. You know what I mean? Because it's not even. I don't like. I, I'm just in this for the fun. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was telling one of this person that we experimented the other day. Yeah. I told them, <laughs> I told them, I said, we're just friends. You yeah. wanted to try it. Mm-hmm. That's what we did. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. feel no type of way about it. I hope oh, that we're dope. still going to be friends. That's dope. That's, that's dope. it. Uh, but sometimes, yeah. man, doing that will fuck up the friendship. You know that, right? Well, that's between, that's yeah. them. Man, because I've had, <laughs> I had women like, uh, man, yeah, we can just fuck around. Yeah. You know, we, I won't catch any feelings. Yeah. Two weeks into it. Oh, yeah. She wants man. to marry her. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? So, is that so what, you, you can fuck everybody else, but you want a relationship with me. So is that what's going on down there, though? Your, yeah. your pipe's doing all that? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Doing if you want to show it to the camera, I would not oppose. <laughs> you know, like I said, I've never been, you know, I've had some people ask me if I've ever had the BBC, and I have, have to you? tell you, Ward, no. So are, no. are you saying just in general, you've never had a so, black man? Or I've what? never had a black man. I have to tell you this. I Like, I, and listen. I'm not attracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like Latino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you know, just chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't speak English. You know, ev- like, everybody has their type. They have a type. You like, know, for I, a while there, yeah. like I was only dating like. Yes. Like they like Warren. You have a type because it will be the small, petite, like okay. Latina, yellow bone woman. There you go. Yeah. But since I got out there, man, I love all flavors. That's now, it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, now, yeah. There's a few black people that mm-hmm. you know, like very few. Uh huh. None of them are gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I'd be like, okay, if you yeah. wanted to, you know, yeah, we yeah, could yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Do you this. would do. It. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? crazy. But like, I just never looked like a, at a black guy. I'm mean, yeah. like, oh, I'm just, I yeah. want that. You know, what you I know mean? what's crazy? Uh-huh. Like, you have a lot of straight men that are so afraid to speak to a homosexual homosexual male because yeah. they think, man, I'd be like, bro, he don't even fucking want you. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Like, like, be secure with yourself. Don't even fucking get me started on that conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't. I, they, I want get started yo, with that shit. These, these niggas be like really yeah. fucking hyping themselves up. If you yeah, don't yeah. take several seats, yeah, yeah. bitch, I'm like, okay. bro, you can. 
barely fuck get a girl. Oh, get you know a bitch. You can't get. Well, let me. I am pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot. But all I'm saying is, you need to take a toilet seat because yeah, yeah, I charge yeah, yeah. bitches like you extra for shit. Yeah. But okay, so so don't even go there with me. They be, yeah, yeah. But I I did struggle with that actually a lot in the beginning. Uh, the majority of my friends are heterosexual males uh-huh. and I, I will say with my close friends we've never done anything like that yeah, yeah, you know yeah, we don't yeah, do stuff like that yeah. you know but these other guys you know what I mean? yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but um they've had to learn to not that they've had to but they've learned to just accept me for who i am like okay andrew's just regular yeah, yeah, correct. like my best friend bro uh-huh. is like a very conserved straight guy yeah, yeah you know yeah, yeah, he has yeah, the yeah. wife and the son i love them all and his friends watch the show or will see the show and be <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. you hang out with that guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes they say yeah. opposites attract. Well, that's my best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so you, do you, think, do you but, think that's true? Absolutely. He's conservative. You're kind of... But but 10 years ago or 15 years ago, I should say, it was the opposite. I wasn't partying. I was, you know, whatever. And he, you know, was doing his thing and yeah, he yeah. was all about the party. Uh, but, you know, we were teenagers when we were 15, 16 yeah, yeah, years old. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah. And now that we're in our 30s, you know, he's the family man, the, the husband, the, yeah, the yeah, father. Yeah. And I'm like... Bro, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> he watches the show. He's like, "Wow." Anyway, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's great. I love it. You yeah, know what I mean? That's, that's dope. But at that's the end dope. of the day, I'm just doing me. Yeah, I'm just as, doing as, as you me. should. As yes, you should. and you know, if the 65 year old man wants to do this again, <laughs> we can. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? See, that, that's what I'm at in my life too. Like, I'm just doing me. Like, I was tied down for 12 years. But, what happened? Tell me. Man, that's some stuff I can't talk about. Okay, you can't talk about that. But how about in a nutshell? So, 12 years, you, you uh, guys are together. Grew, grew apart. You just grew apart. That, that's what I say. We grew okay. apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you miss it? With the person, no. Okay. But the concept yes. of marriage. Like the married. I, I think it, marriage can be a beautiful thing mm-hmm. with the right person. Okay. You know, coming home to that one love in person. I right. think that could be dope. For sure. But, you know, being in the streets, too, it has its benefits as well. Like, mm. like a, a chick texted me the other day. She's like, Man, she probably texted me like twenty times. God I didn't, damn, bitch. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. reply. Yeah, and she's like, you know, punching emojis. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> man, you gotta understand, I'm single. I'm not tied down. Yeah, I'm not obligated to hit you back. Right, right. Well, in a marriage, you're almost obligated. Oh, I, I see. have to check in. You have to There's check certain in. you okay. have to answer to a person. Mm-hmm. Now I ain't got to answer to nobody. Was it hard for you to 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 disassociate with that though? Like when the divorce happened, and now you can go back to being side piece? Or no, no, it, it okay. was pretty easy. Okay. Well, how old are you? I'm 33. Okay, so we're we're around the same. I'm 31. Uh-huh. I have a cousin that's right before 40. He's uh-huh. probably like 37. Uh-huh. He was in a relationship or married, mm. for that matter, with this woman since I was a fucking kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now they're not together. Uh-huh. And I said, bro, this is the the prime of your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. need to go out there and just soil your royal oats. But it's, some people don't know how, because the dating scene has changed. Yes. Oh, it it's has. it's way different. I hate it. You don't like it? I don't. I. Fucking but it sounds like it's easy on you. You're going no. on Grinder. Boom, 65 year old. You come here. Do you want to fuck? I'm all to the point. I oh, don't you're, like, you're straight to the point. Oh, I don't like learning anybody. I don't want to get to well, know you. Nowadays, you don't have to learn anybody. I don't want to, though. I just, okay, and we can make this a regular thing. Just hit me up when you're down, and I can yeah, leave yeah. for my lunch break, and, you know. Well, you know, <laughs> women are like that, too. Really? I swear. Okay. They're straight to the point. Man, yeah. I just want to fuck. That's all That's I want to do. You know, and some of them, I'll be honest, they're tired of their guy at home. Mm-hmm. They want excitement. Yeah. This has got boring. Let me do a side thing to That's spice it. up my to life. spice up your life, okay. But there's no other connections. But I will tell you this. Mm-hmm. Even though they say we won't have feelings, it's still, why are you messaging her? Why are you commenting on this? But you know what, bro? In mm-hmm. all honesty, mm-hmm. like, no matter how much you have sex with somebody, I think eventually you get feelings. feelings do kind of come into play. That's why you have to have them few and far between. So my side piece only hits me up every few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and we just got reconnected after two years. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. it was beautiful. Oh, y'all, y'all made, took a break. We took a break because... Were y'all getting feelings? Keep listen, it real. Keep it real with no, me. No, 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 no. Listen, I've known this person mm-hmm. since, honestly, since we were 18 years old. And we yeah. didn't start messing around yeah. until our mid-20s. And because they told me, you know, hey, I just kind of like doing this on the low. Yeah, yeah. Because they're, they're straight. Because <laughs> they're straight. Yeah, and, yeah. and then they ended up doing the whole wife and child thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. And... um. That didn't work out, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we just got reconnected. And I was like, "Hey, are you still down like to do what we used to do?" Or that's not a thing anymore. And he was like, "Well, I'm single now." I was like, oh, "I bet." I mean, I don't get fucking saying that. Just <laughs> you know what that <laughs> sound like? Have you ever seen the movie uh, Moonlight? I think is what it's called. Yes, <laughs> it wasn't like I something like it. that. Well, I'm not in love with the person. Okay, but, okay, but that's, he that's is my difference. friend. Like I uh-huh. like I've known him for years, over a decade. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, yes, if he needed anything, I'd be there for him. But that's dope. no, we we have an understanding. This is just 
fun. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. we have amazing sex. Like, why yeah, would yeah, you yeah. not want to come get some of this? Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and we can leave midday from our job and go do this thing, and <laughs> you know, and, and that's it. And, and then go, go about life like but nothing. But that's happened. all we're doing, and yeah, yeah. you know. That, that's all I'm gonna say about I mean, that. You know I, I mean? think more people are like that now. Than yeah. Opposed to like 15 years ago, it was relationship, relationship, relationship. And now yeah. it's let's just hit it, yeah. quit it. Do, you know, I, go back. I have to say though, that's kind of sad though. That relationships. It's, it's, have it's died very out. sad. Yeah, that, it's very it sad. sad. Yeah. Because you know nobody will ever ask me if I want pasta when I get home. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like I'm gonna come. F you and make yeah, sure yeah. the ring door camera's not well, on and, <laughs> and then I'm leaving and don't call me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll call you. But, but yeah. let me ask you this. Would you want that? Would you want your person? I don't know. I have mm. to be honest. I don't know. At 30, I'm 31 years old. Is it because you've never experienced it? I, I will tell you guys, mm -hmm. and I think I've said this before on the show, I've never been like in a committed relationship. Committed relationship. Like I've never been somebody's boyfriend. Yeah. I've definitely talked to guys before. I've dated guys before, but it's never been like an exclusive this is my boyfriend so and so. Mm -hmm. Like it's never I've never had that. Yeah, yeah. So because I got so sick of everybody shit, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just was kind of like and then I'm busy. I'm busy, bro. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, very yeah, yeah. busy. This keeps me on my toes, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, listen. Mm -hmm. Back back to you cuz we're talking about sex and shit <laughs> and, and being slutty, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um 5 degrees you're obviously a very successful businessman. You got the mansion and everything, but you still got the street smarts. You're still slutty. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you got yeah. the grills on. You're just regular. How do you balance between the two lives? Because I feel like I feel like there's sometimes you have to like go this way, and then well, sometimes you have to go this I, way I, to I, appease I, certain groups of people. Man, that, that that's a great question. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Because when I will tell you this, when I was in corporate America, I kind of felt like I was losing myself. Okay. And, and, I, and, I, and I'll be honest. Why? Yeah. Like being a, a councilman, like I'm, I'm the first African-American councilman on – the city of a Crescent, you know? Oh, for, oh. Yeah, yeah. So, You're a councilman now? Well, I just quit in May. You just quit. But I was the first African American councilman in Crescent, so Texas. I can ask the question. You can <laughs> ask it. You can ask it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it was always this younger black guy yeah. with a group of older Caucasian people. For sure. So, you know, uh, to fit in, you have to speak a certain way. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I already speak like this, you know? Right. Uh, you have to act a certain way. You have to laugh at these jokes. Yeah. You have to listen to this music. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, it got to a point where I'm like, man, fuck that. I have to be true to me. For sure. Because if you try to please everybody, you yourself will be unhappy. That's it. So now, like, it, it's it's like, man, I hate it. Like, when I, it'll be, I'll get inboxes. Hey, you're a businessman. You're not supposed to do that. Man, I don't give a fuck I'm just what I me. do. Yes. Yeah. I'm me. I'm true to me. That's it. If I lost all my friends, all my followers, all my money tomorrow, Mm -hmm. Because I was being true to myself, I'm happy with that. That's okay. Because I'm being true to me. You weren't a sellout. Wasn't a sellout. That's what I said. You know, mm -hmm. I told you before the show. What I was on, I, I, I was on several podcasts this year alone. Uh huh. That got pulled. Uh huh. Because <laughs> you were but, being you. But I was being me. But you know, I don't blame them because me being me comes with a price. And, and I have to say, I have to say this. I'm not mad at any of them. There, mm -hmm. there was at least four or five. Correct. I'm not mad at any of them because they wanted me to come on there, go against the grain, and mm -hmm. that's what I did. But. Even me being myself, I've had to deal with repercussions on this show wow. from the things that I've said and how can you do and that? You own this show. This is my show. Yeah. yeah. And so with them, they they weren't conditioned to that. Correct. They weren't conditioned to that amount of pushback. You know what I mean? And, and so it was like, hey, we had, you know, well, we we took it down or whatever, and that's and that's fine. I'm okay with it. You I, know. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. Also, a lot of people are rooted in traditional values. Yeah. And I am as well for sure, to for a sure. degree. But the world has changed. Yeah. So much. That's it. Yeah. But I think when it comes to me too, bro, like I, I've just been through so much in my life when it comes to my sexuality and mm -hmm. and the, the ridicule that I face. I was on the radio for a long time and oh, that guy sounds too gay. And really? Like, yeah. You got you know, that for real. Yeah, just one time. But you know, <laughs> I've all, but behind her was that bitch that was like, Oh my god, you sound fabulous. I love you. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and hey, how can he yeah, say that? Don't yeah. don't praise me in private. <laughs> you know, I, I hate no, that. I hate that. But but after you know again just for for all intents and purposes i'm not mad at anybody that yeah, had yeah, to pull yeah. their shows again there was about four or five of them this year <laughs> man can, can yeah. i be honest yeah. now like 10 years ago this probably wouldn't fly but uh -huh. the lgbt the right. alphabet people is, yeah. I, 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 I'm just because they're adding letters yeah, yeah. every year i can't even yeah, keep yeah, up yeah. with you i'm not gonna lie it's more <laughs> accepted now yes it is Absolutely. i think if they would have tried that with yes. you now mm -hmm. Oh man, they're coming to you know raise hell for sure. But yeah. you know what? At the end of the day, and I was I was, I was telling the producers, and I um the owner of the the network messaged me when I won the award, mm. um and I and I just told him too. I was like, thank you for just letting me come on there and be my slutty self and yeah, 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 yeah. on your network. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like just thank you. Yeah, 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 I get yeah. to do this. But anyway, you know um so so. It's so funny that you say staying true to yourself. I knew a councilman that just was really trying to convince us that he was straight. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you gay. Like, you gay. <laughs> you know, did, you, did you find that daunting having to like, just like mask your identity? You know what I mean? Um, For a while, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, uh, it, it's almost like this. If you ever see the memes, like, uh, when the person's going to work, they got the trap music turned up all the way. Oh, yes. But then when they come home, they're like, very professional. Yeah, for sure. It's almost like that, man. I, how I feel now is if you can't accept somebody for who they are, if you're asking them to change, then you don't really value that person for them. For sure. You know? Mm -hmm. So now it's, man, you, you get what you get. That's it. Yeah. But a, a lot of people love it. They're like, man, before I met you, I thought you were like this. I thought you were that. Yeah. I didn't know you were so down to earth. Uh, yes. But that's who I am. You are just regular. Yeah. It was, it was just crazy to me because when I when I met you at the awards, bro, mm -hmm. you were the photographer and I was like, okay, he has the camera. I'm just going to be slutty. And then, that's <laughs> it. and then when I added you on social media uh -huh. and then somebody was like, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of which, um, you're obviously a very big social media influencer. Okay, mm -hmm. how did that all start for you? Like, how did it end up just turning? Because you'll post something and everybody just gravitates to it. Because you, while the the stuff in the innuendo is just so grotesque <laughs> which i love it you talked about getting your gooch licked i was like oh, oh yeah can bro, we talk about that too later yes, on you can, no we can uh, talk about it right now because you sleep as man. fuck how did you just have that happen uh, you said i'm sleep as fuck yeah you are <laughs> because down there is where it's all going man, on man it's crazy as hell look <laughs> I, I post this fucking uh this seafood platter you know yes. and i showed that i was at uh what was the name of it it's some the crab shack in arlington oh okay so some girl she hits me up she's like uh, which which locations you go to? I'm uh -huh. like Arlington. She's like, I work there. Oh, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. You smash. I'm getting to it. Uh, okay, I'm okay, to okay. It. I'm, I'm she's jumping. Like, I'm she's like, she's like, I work there. I'm like, well, shit, I didn't see you. She said I was off that night. Mm. So I'm like, damn, if you work there, where do you live at? Yeah, I live in White Settlement, which is 28 minutes from me. Oh. So we chop it up for a little bit. That's it. Cool up on me. Man, shit, she, she, she showed you. Her. She pulled up on me. Oh, to the mansion. Yeah, the gate code and everything. I gave it a gate code slide. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yes. Slide in. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm 4'11". Woo, woo, woo. Oh, you petite. I like petite women. You know oh, what I'm okay, saying? okay. So she pulls up on me, you know. She's sucking my shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then she's slowly going down. I'm like, what this bitch was to do? You know what I'm saying? Bro, yeah. Then she started licking my shit. I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, I like that. You Isn't know it great? I crazy. tell them all the time. Yeah, but then, yes. like, this is what my guy says. Yes. Some people say, oh, that's so gay. No, it's not. It's a woman fucking licking Bro, on you. I, Some sorry. people have so, their sex has yeah. to be boring as fuck. Be, yeah, ain't yeah. shit. I have the best advice. I always tell a man, a woman, they should eat their man's ass out. Absolutely. They should do it. I, have, has it have you? Experience well, she, that pleasure. She didn't eat she my just, ass. It was just the gooch. The gooch. Yes. But I think I'd probably be open to it. You, you know? have to be. But, Let that bitch just put your legs behind your head one day and eat yeah, it like a pussy. And, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling well, you. you well, you want me to lay down like a sniper just, or what? No, what should I listen, do? bitch, bro. Just <laughs> fucking lay there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, these legs can go back. I just need a little bit of assistance. Okay? <laughs> but yeah. Just fucking but, do it. I promise. Man, it's like crazy. Like, yeah. I, I'm, man, I, I love the anatomy of a woman. Like, I love sex. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I, 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 I hate when, uh, <laughs> man, like they've only done it like missionary. I'm like, what oh, okay. the fuck? Yeah, I'm new to Gooch land, but yeah. like, man, we can get twisted up like a pretzel. Let me there get you to the go. side of the bed. Okay. Let's do all this shit. You know what I'm wow. saying? And it's crazy when like, they're like, this is my first time ever having an orgasm. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's crazy to me. Yeah. So so did you start getting experimental with the sexual stuff after the marriage or were no, you no, always no. this way? I, I, I that believe just, so. Yeah. Cause I will credit her. She had amazing sex. Okay, okay. You know? Yeah. Uh and I think we got comfortable with each other. We're doing all kind of shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what it did. But yeah. now now once uh you meet these new women, they may not have had a lot of partners. For so sure, they for sure. they've only done it two ways. That's it. You know? Yeah. Like I remember when I when I met a, a woman, she's like, Man, I don't do it from the back. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? fuck? Yeah. yeah these, these, and then once yeah. they do it, they're like, man, that's amazing. Yeah. Or like, man, look, here's his free game, ladies. Get the rose. Use the rose while he's hitting you from the back. Oh, wow. You're going to bust everywhere. Should I do that? I would. <laughs> Should I do that too? You got to get the, the, the Gluck Gluck 3000. Have yeah, you seen yeah. that? No, and I'm like, scared. Man, I posted it one day. It's yes. like, it spans like. Oh wow! Like it's like the male version of a rose. Oh, so okay. If, okay. if your partner's eating is. your ass, yes, use your gluck gluck while he's eating you. Okay. I bet you'll bust like crazy. Well, my guys don't like to eat my ass because they're they're at the stage where they're just like, oh, I want to try things out. Have to oh, say, you're, my, so you, you know what I mean? You're getting inexperienced people. Well, with men. 
Uh-huh. The men are, they've never been with other men, uh-huh. so they say. Uh-huh. I'm not, listen, I know I'm not fucking special, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, but you know, they, like, they, listen, mm-hmm. all I can say is that my shit is lit. Man, you funny as hell. <laughs> so have you had a lot of guys um, hit on you? I, man, to be honest, I have. Have you been with dudes? No, 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 no. no, like, no, no. I'm like strictly women. You just like women. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's so that's would you be open to a threesome with another man and a woman? I don't think so. But really? I've had threesomes with women. Just two women, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you but, think- you, but you know, I think threesomes are mm. overrated. Mm. Do you? I've never, but I've always kind of wanted to. You've Not, never I, had a threesome. I've never had a threesome. I have to say. Andrew, look me in my eyes. Bro, I have You've never, never had a threesome. Had a threesome. I, I've been wanting to try it. But I what don't are want, you waiting on? I don't want no bitches in the room with me. This guy wants me to fuck him and his wife. And I just, I'm I not think they call it. that a, cu- a cuckold. Well, no, I, no, no. Listen, it's, 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 he's fucking too. Bro, I am um, Gia, my OnlyFans model that was on this show, told me that I'm a gold star gay. I don't want no vagina anywhere near me. So you just, you don't like the anatomy of a woman. Why? Women, women Why? Are, b- listen, women are beautiful. Uh huh. I, they, I, boobs are awesome. You I don't think like bo- what a pussy looks like. I, I just, no. I'm like soft talking about it, like I, I, you know what I mean. Like, can you imagine? Like y'all, y'all's pee pee is a waste. Uh-huh. Putting it in some chick's vagina. Well, let me ask <laughs> you. They, they always say, "Don't knock it till you try it." Why won't you try to? Fuck why don't you over? try having a man suck you off? That's crazy that you hit yeah. me with it. Why don't, with the why don't you, when you let me suck you off and then you tell me <laughs> it's the best? <laughs> then, you, you then, you, me, then, then you'll try a woman. You'll try a woman. But, then <laughs> yes, I will go look a bitch's pussy. But until man, you, until I'm like, on my knees, I'll be honest. Like. I just enjoy eating the pussy. Like, I don't even got to fuck. Let me just eat the pussy. Where's this going, Alice? Uh, yeah, where's this going? <laughs> no, no. Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. I, I, a lot of men have told me, listen, I was with a guy who was bisexual. Uh-huh. He said that, you know, although he's mainly with women, men, uh-huh. um, he he loves, be, like, eating girls out. Yeah, yeah. There is nothing more, dis- especially when they, like, um, compare it to oysters. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? That's <laughs> disgusting. But there's nothing, I'm telling you right now, there's yeah. nothing like a beautiful penis. Just you know, you know, you should put a poll on on your Facebook. Yeah, we should. Vagina, penis. Let's, you know do, let's do it when, while, while this episode's out. We're gonna make a poll. We're we'll, gonna we'll put collaborate a poll. on Instagram. We'll put a for poll. We'll, we'll put, put a poll. poll. I'm telling you guys, penis is where it's at. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> vagina is where it's at. <laughs> I love it. Hey, you you're know, funny this, as hell. This is why I love this because I get to have this show and people like you just let me do me and I just man, I fuck yeah. with it. Thank you so man, much. Man. Man, thank you for being open. Yeah, you know I, what listen, saying? everybody knows these legs are open all the time. I don't fucking care anymore. But now my dad, you know, he'd be like, bro, why you gotta uh, say all that shit? Let me ask you this. Yeah. When did you finally come out as I'm homosexual? Okay, so I, and then I want to get back to you. Uh, we're, well, we're well let, me, let me ask two, yeah, go, two go, follow-ups. Go, you ask me whatever you want, go on. That, well, let me hear that, the answer to that first. Okay, right now? Uh-huh. I looked myself in the mirror when I was in sixth grade. Uh-huh. Sixth grade, I'll never forget. And I said, oh my God, you're gay. I don't know. Just, what just the fuck? Yeah, is that yeah. really how it happened? I knew that I was always attracted to the, the boys in my school yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. a kid. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I love gym time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, we had to change. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and then, of, obviously, I grew up with around, like, uh, Salvadorians, Puerto Ricans. I'm uh-huh. Puerto Rican. So, okay. Are I'm you tra- from Puerto Rico? No, no, no. I'm from New York. Yeah, okay. I'm New Rican is what we call it. <laughs> and, yeah. So, um, and so... I, I knew that, and then I came out to my parents, or I should say my mother. Uh, my dad's around, too. They're together. Um, but I came out to my mom on December 21st, 2021. I was 21 because the world was supposed to end. Not 21, 2012, because the world was, was supposed Y2, to end. Was that Y2K? The world was supposed to end. The comet was supposed to kill us. Correct. The, the Mayans. Yes, yeah. yes. So they were supposed to kill us, and then they didn't fucking kill us. So I was like, oh, shit. Now so I'm you thought you were, the world's going <laughs> to yeah. end, so you and told your now parents. Now I'm gay, yes. And so, but then my mom told my dad, uh, allegedly, during a drunk fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, me and my dad never talked about it. But he watches this show. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> like, he's finding out more about like, you cool, as he like, watches. We, like, I'm not going to go talk to my dad about sucking, like, sucking dick. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, dad, I was with this guy yesterday. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, he doesn't yeah, fucking yeah, want to hear that bullshit. I, I hear you, I hear yeah, you. what was your second question? I guess this. Oh, wait, wait, well, wait I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I have a, gro- a close of group friends, like my best friend, Jaime. Uh-huh. I came out to them three years later. Um, three years after, three years parents. after my parents, because they. So you were, know, honestly, you hadn't come out yet because right. the world did not know. The world didn't know, but everybody knew. You know what I mean? Like that councilman I told you was gay. We all uh-huh. know you're fucking gay, bitch. Just <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so, but but like my best friend, he when I told him because I was taking a guy to his wedding uh-huh. as a date and in Vegas, and you owe me money. But <laughs> he was Damn. like, oh. 
we all knew. Like uh, we were making bets when you were gonna come out. We would drink and talk about it. Like, uh, we that's knew you crazy. Were gay and we love fuck. you, and that's yeah. it. Like nobody cared. Nobody gave a fuck. I was fortunate that nobody gave a fuck. You yeah. were more worried about it than what the world was. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you kind of answered my uh, follow up question. I was like, mm-hmm. were you scared to let everybody? Know? Mm-hmm. You were. I was only because, well, I was more scared to let my guy friends know because I didn't want them to feel uncomfortable around me Correct. because they were my, like, I have a brother who's in jail. He's been in jail for the last seven years and yeah, we, yeah. we just don't have a relationship. Mm-hmm. And so they are, they fill that void, if you will, especially my best friend. So I didn't want them to like, we don't want to hang out with you anymore. Like get away from us. That's weird. We okay. don't want to hear that shit. Obviously I'm not going to my best friend, Jaime and being like, Hey bro, like I slept with this nigga last night. Yeah, like yeah, you don't yeah, want to hear yeah, that yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, but I think the problem with, with gay men and what they do with guys, like a lot of guys fuck with me, mm-hmm. like, like straight men Correct. like love me, but I'm just official. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and for so sure, for sure. I'm not, but I'm not going up to all of them, you know, like, oh yeah, I just slept with this fine ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's what, that's what most straight men think. Yeah. yeah it's nothing like that. I mean, like, no lie, like, I know, like, gay dudes, they're like, if you look at them, they look like so fucking hard, like yeah. the most street dudes, but they like men. That's you know? it. Yeah, like, it's, Those like, are my it's just who, it's just who they want to yes. fuck. I, I have to tell you, I don't fuck with gay guys. I don't fuck uh, with gay guys. The uh, flamboyant people. The, 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 yes, I don't have sex with a lot of them because yeah, they're yeah. just uh, it's, it's not your type. I like me a nice man that's just like with fucking dirty fingernails <laughs> you know what I mean that, that just got done building a fucking bench yeah. and shit like, you see, like me too like I like girly girls you like, like girly girls you like, like I don't like a, yeah. I don't like a Meg the Stallion I don't want my, my woman being harder than me you know what I'm right, saying okay. like, what I like girly girls that's it listen oh my god Warren I hate that we're running out of time but uh, more about you okay so the, the social media influence how did that all start for you I mean man to be honest yeah I, I grew up, I've, I've always been a popular person. Yes. And like everybody I meet, like we vibe, we vibe. Mm-hmm. So that that energy is going to continue for because it's always positive vibes. Yeah. I never cross anybody. So if we had a relationship 10 years ago, you're still going to fuck with me now because yeah. it's always been genuine. Yes. So I think with that, just meeting different people, I travel a lot and that just helped my social media grow. I see. You know, and then it's also like sometimes we're posting the stuff that people are thinking, but they're scared to say Absolutely. because they don't want somebody at their job well, you know the thing? I pay me, so I don't give a fuck. Okay, you know? that's Who's going to cancel me? That's this show right here. <laughs> I say what everybody wants to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be surprised how many people, man, I was thinking that. Yeah. I didn't want to post. About it. getting your Gucci dick and shit? Man, man, you know, after all, I said that, so many dudes, man, the, that shit goes so hard, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the DMs, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? They were nervous that people would look at them a certain way. Right. I don't give a fuck. You're just normalizing shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, it. That's, okay. it. that's so, it. That's it. So, Warren, what is it? that you do i mean obviously you, you make funny things you're, you're a photographer you know i've seen some rapping mm-hmm. and everything um what 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 do you do that just lets you live this lavish lifestyle that we all wish for you know what most, i mean and everything. certainly it's kind of like what we touched on earlier like yes. those little things you're like well what's spearheaded the success mm-hmm. you know as i accumulate it i've never I've never had a, a pitfall. Like it's never gone away. I've never blown the money. Okay. So I've, I'm always making investments to to grow the pot. Because yeah. also, man, like uh, like I said, I went through a divorce. I'm a single father of six right. kids. So I have six? to make sure. Yeah. Bitch, you've been busy. Been busy, busy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I know he got that BBC. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's more of well, let me accumulate enough so we have generational wealth. You know oh, what I mean? see. Okay. So like from the selling of like I, I said, like I I bought that first business that that. When I jumped out, I bought all those eagle posters. Yeah, yeah. Well, I sold those for two point four in um, right before COVID hit, March thirteenth uh-huh. of twenty twenty, I believe it was, because mm-hmm. I know it was a guy named Brian Robert, and we were having a conversation like that next week. He's like, uh, Warren, what do I do? Yeah. I said, I don't know. I've I never know. experienced COVID. Yeah. You okay. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but it's funny. Like, right before I sold it, him and I are at Fuzzy Tacos. We're talking. And that's it. And we're talking about COVID. And I'm like, man, we're both like, man, it's going to be nothing more than, like, the flu. Yeah, That's yeah. what we thought it would be. For sure. Little did we know, man, that next week, that's when Texas went on shutdown. It was a pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, that really gave me a large lump sum as well. Like, one thing, like, people, all, like, I, I kind of explained the SBA process. But when it comes to selling a business, you can sell that business uh, by a multiplier yeah. of three of the net income. And the net income is is what you make after expenses. Mm. So let's say your business makes 200000 and that's consistent for three years. Yeah. When you go to sell that business, at a minimum, you should sell that business at 
six hundred thousand. It fluctuates a little bit per industry. Yeah, but that's why I'm like it's always a safe business, uh, a safe process to buy an established business. So you're like an investor. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. You sell businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's like, like, like uh, one girl was asking me like. Because I'm, I'm always doing what I want to, yeah. and I don't want to just tell her everything. Like, yeah. I, I don't. I don't even like speaking about myself. Yeah. But um, I'm like, man, I'll do anything that will make a buck. Like I'll shovel shit. Yeah, yeah. If it's gonna pay right and it's gonna bring money for my children. I see. Like I'm I not see. above doing anything. You know. I love that about you. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Do you find yourself in a situation with you being as open? I mean, where this podcast is about to come out, we're talking about Gucci's being lit. <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? Um, do you find yourself in a situation where maybe you're being judged? Like maybe you know, like like somebody might be disappointed in you because listen, I think that you've worked hard to solidify your your well, name. Well, and I, you, I'll tell you, know? you what, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, this happened maybe. Two months ago, yes, I bought a watch for thirty five thousand oh. uh, dollars, and like I, I posted, and, and I'm just I'm just posting uh, uh-huh. rap lyrics, and I'm basically saying like, your man gets his watch from Wish, and like Wish, if this is <laughs> yeah, and this this is my watch type yeah. shit, yeah, and and I'm just I'm just playing, but people who don't right. know me, they don't know that I'm playing. Hey, they think you're oh yeah, thing, it, yeah, it's why do you always? We know you got money. Why you have to do this? Well, I've earned it. Right, you know, right. If I want to, I can do this. Yes, so sometimes sure. I, I do get judged, but I don't give a fuck. You don't care. Because they're going to mm-hmm. talk about you regardless. Absolutely. If I lose everything tomorrow, I war him, bro. He's on his yep, dick. Yep. If I'm making $2 billion tomorrow, mm. uh, Warren thinks he's better than everybody. Right, okay. So I just do me. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> I talk about that with my friends all the time. Absolutely. Listen, Warren, unfortunately, we are out of time. But there was something that you wanted to ask me. Right when we were taking the break, and I just yeah. I'm gonna give you another question. You're gonna give me another question. Yes. Well, you are you to me. give you a question. Yes, for sure. Oh, because I don't pause, want this to go. Pause, pause, pause. I was asking. If no, we you're not the pause. Shit. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, yeah. No, I was just saying if we could continue just having a good conversation. <laughs> if if it didn't make the podcast. Man, we could throw snippets on on about on, sex or just a- any fucking thing, man. Because your conversation is so fucking dope. Warren, you know? listen, I appreciate it. We would have five hours. <laughs> <laughs> we would have five hours. Yeah, we, we would we would yeah. talk about well. Uh-huh. No, no, no. We can go. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, we, right, we, right, we, right, we, right. we 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 would talk forever. We would talk forever because yes. one question was spin into another question. But, but no, you can ask me one more question, and then we're gonna end the show. Should we should we ask some juicy shit or what? Uh, yeah, whatever you want. I'm here. <laughs> let me see. Let, yes. me, let me think about whatever this shit. he wants. He doesn't what, understand what, what, that. What, whatever he wants. What is a fucking <laughs> a, attention grab? Yes. What do people want to know about Andrew? <laughs> what? What is it? Yes. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I don't. I don't fucking know. I could ask ten million fucking okay. questions. You know what I mean? <laughs> so man, we'll just we'll just leave it you at can that. Just slide man. in my DM. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna... oh, oh, let me ask you oh, this. Let oh, me ask go you ahead, this. Go ahead. Being that you fuck with niggas, right? Okay. Not niggas, you don't get down with the brown. Right, right, That's right, what right. you said. One day. Have you ever messed with, like, a married man? Oh. Yes. All the time. And his wife doesn't know he's fucking around like that. I don't know. That's not my business. That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> that is not my business. <laughs> How the fuck would you know they're married? They tell me. That's crazy. They tell me, and I used to, I used to think that it was deplorable, and I used to think that, oh my god, I don't want to be this way, and then, <laughs> I, I, it just happened so often. I was just like, this is what we're doing. It happens and, often. Oh, it's a lot of fucking married if motherfuckers I, out if there. If I was, if, if I was, you were to give a percentage, let me tell of, you something. Oh, of the men I've been with, like, uh, like single versus married motherfuckers, you fucking with married at least eighty. What the fuck? But uh, you know what? That's that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in it for the good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's all we doing. And I will say this: like, <laughs> <laughs> what? I used to think it is deplorable. Uh, I'm not by any means necessary like glorifying it. Correct, correct. Do you correct, know what I mean? Correct. But <laughs> it you're happens. like it is what Listen, it is. People, are, like to me. I know that karma is going to bite me in the ass one day. Uh, You believe in karma. Yes. And I I believe that maybe that's why I'm not in a relationship because I know that that will happen to me one day. You really think so? You think it'll come back and get you? Absolutely. But But isn't it their choice to fuck with you? But And that's the thing, too. They know that I'm not going to say shit. There's a reason why the slogan of this show is keep it between us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You know what I mean? Because because that's what the men used to tell me all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And so at the end of the day, 
it's a selfish act and I don't promote it by any means necessary, but I'm getting what I want out of it. And, and that's selfish as fuck. It, it is selfish that's as fuck. <laughs> it's selfish as fuck. But I'm getting what I want. You're getting what you want. I so don't you, want the you drama breaking up this happy home. No, to I'm be not. Selfish. No, I'm not. Because I'm never gonna call no bitch talking about her man was at my house. Okay. I am okay. never gonna do that. I don't got the time. Okay. And I, I don't have the place. <laughs> that is not my place, B- bitch. He can come home to you all he wants. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. wish you guys a successful, happy marriage. Yeah, yeah. That's not my business. Yeah, yeah. The, Warren, let me tell you something. Uh huh. And then we really do have to wrap okay, up. Okay, we'll, we'll wrap it up. I, I have to tell you this. The foundation of the success of, the success of this podcast is me minding my own fucking business. Mm. I stay in my lane. I don't care what anybody... This is me right here. Uh-huh. Whatever's going on out here has nothing to do with me. It. Same thing in my personal life. This is me right here. If you are in this crosshair, cool. Yeah. Whatever's going here, on out here... I don't have shit to do with me. I don't care what's going on in your marriage. I don't care what's going yeah, yeah. on with the drama with anybody that has that's in my circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, but if you come for this, we can get down. That's some real shit. That's some <laughs> and, real shit. And that's all I'm going to say. You know what I mean? You a real that, motherfucker. That, that, 100. <laughs> all the time. And they know it whether they like it or can, not. Can, can I tell the ladies? Yeah, absolutely. Give a shout out. So, ladies, if you're... Well, how'd you say it? <laughs> if you're in the crosshairs... That's it. I'm fucking with you. That's but it. if they're over here, I don't get so if your baby daddy's mm-hmm. over here, your boyfriend's I don't give a fuck. That, that, yep. So hit up BBC <laughs> and I'm gonna fuck with you. All right. <laughs> Warren, thank you so much no, for a great Thank episode. you for having Listen, me. Listen, I just have to tell you that, you know, being from pro- predominantly South Waco is what it sounded like, right? Oh man, we bounced everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, yeah, you're from Waco. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, you've been through the the struggling the struggles that a lot of people go through in this life and you know, you you've really worked hard to solidify a name for yourself. And you remain humbled. And I hope that when people watch this episode, yes, we had a good time. Yes, we talked about side pieces. <laughs> but, yeah. but I hope that when people watch this episode and they see you, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel for everybody. Because specifically for you and I, we were it sounded like we were destined for failure. Mm-hmm. I have not gotten personal. I don't have the time to get personal right now. But we were both destined to not Correct. have Correct. the things that we have now. We worked hard for it. And everybody watching this, don't give up on your dreams. Correct. Don't give up on yourself. Don't let your circumstances define your future. Mm-hmm. And, and that's all we're doing. You know what I mean? And correct. you can still be slutty and have a good old time. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. Uh, yeah. I, I just like to say, man. Yes. Don't look at anything I do as boasting or bragging. Mm-hmm. Take me, for example, like I say, being born a black man in America, so many things are stacked against you already. If I could do it, I believe anybody could. Okay. You know? So so always keep that hope, man. That there's always tomorrow. You know? Um, whatever you have your sights set on. You can accomplish those goals as long as you stick to that mission. Uh, don't let anything deter you. Uh, you can accomplish anything. I love it. Mm. I love it. And Warren's a living example of that, and so am I. And you know what? I'm going to come to your mansion one day. Please invite me. You, you, I, yeah. I'll come this weekend. I don't give a fuck. I, you know what? All next week, I, have, I still have a full-time job. Mm-hmm. I'm off. I'll oh, come visit. We're going to fucking New Orleans this weekend. Oh, we're getting shit. Lit. Oh, you were Man, getting you can come. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'll be in New Orleans <laughs> with him, all right? <laughs> Anika's been begging me to go, all right? <laughs> Listen, um, God, Warren, thank you so much for coming down um, from the Fort Worth area mm-hmm. to come be on the public affair. I truly appreciate you, and I wish you nothing more than, or nothing less than more success in mm-hmm. your life, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm coming to visit the mansion, and if I fuck in your hangar, let me do me. You can do Let you. me do me. Just you turn the cameras do. off. All right. you, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of The Public Affair. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow Warren on Instagram at official underscore ATM man man. Mm-hmm. On Facebook, Warren BBC, BBC McCamey. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> I know that one all too well, Don. <laughs> yes. Listen, Thanks for having me. Absolutely. It was a pleasure. You guys, I just want to give a shout out to just a few more responses of this episode of The Public Affair because they don't stop there. I'll support me. I love mm-hmm. it. Of course, the George Farcon and Edward Baragan with Montezuma Boxing. They're a boxing gym dedicated to train you to be a superb boxer and, of course, to get into shape. They offer walk-in workout classes at 7.30 p.m. And, of course, you can sign up for their boxing classes. Never too late. Don't wait for your New Year's resolution. And to improve that hand to eye coordination and overall better physical condition, they're training champions at Montezuma Boxing. Darling, call the number on the screen and follow on Facebook at Montezuma Boxing. Edward Baragan, George Falcon. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Junior Fuentes, Thomas Roberts, and the entire family at Jay Puddle and Poke, which is sounding very dinnerish tonight because we're, we're recording on dinner hours right now. Mm-hmm. They provide delicious, savory Japanese crepes and Poke Bowls. They also have handcrafted Thai rolled ice cream for dessert, darling. You choose from a menu item or create your own. 
Because like I like to do, bro, I like yeah. to be in control. <laughs> Locations on University <laughs> Park Drive and Hewitt Drive. You can order online at jpedaltx.com. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Vias Transportation, LLC with Pelon Via and Yasmin Landeros, darling. They provide power-only services locally and over the road at an affordable rate, I might add. Mm-hmm. Also move freight in a dry van such as box items, palleted materials, most retail dry goods, and so much more. They also provide hot shot services as well. That That is a power couple right there. I love those two. They're independently owned. Make sure you call today for more information to VS Transportation LLC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring the public affair. Of course, the Pollo Box and Audio with Jeffrey Monreal. Home for all your LED needs and auto accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and absolutely much more. He put the tint in my car, the darkest tint that you can get. It's very side pieces right now. Don't ask what I was doing in that car. Yeah, yes. Don't ask what I was doing in that car the other day. Your one stop shop to get everything done in one roof to Pollo Box and Audio. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair and of course the fat boy Michelada y Botana with my boy Junior Banda who provides the best Micheladas and Botana plates for yourself or for a party with a menu of ton of different items including Botana, Bos, Chamois, Pickles and more locally operated so make sure you get the best and not the rest darling. Follow on Facebook and Instagram at fat boy Michelada y Botana and place your order now to my boy Junior Banda out there doing big things and he's got exciting things on the way. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair and of course I have to give an honorable mention to Orlando Beverly with ANK Express inflatables side note I told him I was gonna do this ad if he called my friend Mauro Maldonado with silly buns Mm -hmm. and he did (laughs) he did and it was the best thing ever you guys can hit up Orlando to provide bounce houses and more for your next party or event they're locally owned they're reliable and super affordable comment on the screen Orlando Beverly with ANK Express inflatables I told you I was gonna do this for you bro and you know what guys if you need a bounce house for your next event or for your party hit Mm -hmm. them up and they got you to Orlando Beverly thank you so much for sponsoring or you know what just (laughs) sponsoring the public affair supporting the public affair i truly appreciate you guys thank you so much for tuning into this episode with my boy atm man man aka ward mckamey i've got more episodes of the public affair away yes i'm a little bit tipsy right now and he may or may not be showing me the bbc after this but we're gonna turn the cameras off and don't forget darling to always keep it between us This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.